No, God bless you. Yes, I am live. <laughs> My computer's slow. It didn't have a title. It was supposed to say that this was a Monday rosary. But when I opened it up to cross post it, it didn't. But that's okay, because you're here. There's people here. And we'll see in a second if it posted it, even though it's not showing me. The Blessed Monday of Lent. We're going to pray to the Holy Spirit. And we're going to pray to Our Lady, who is the spouse of the Holy Spirit, right? We have so many things to pray for. As always, we pray for um, the conversion of Russia, and the triumph of the Immaculate Heart. For our Russian project to get my book out of the darkness into Russian. This will be the first of my books in Russian. I pray for Ekaterina as she's translating and for eventually the funding and the outlets that we need to get these books into the hands of, of both Russian souls and the souls of those who know the language that were maybe even persecuted by the Russians. We pray for an end to the war in the Ukraine. We pray for George, we pray for Vladik, we pray for all soldiers, especially those who are despairing from the situations that they see in their own country. We pray for peace throughout the world. We pray for our children of the cross prayer groups and our work, especially in the Middle East and Afghanistan and Pakistan. They're doing um, retreats on Out of the Darkness. And our first retreat was with a big group of children. And um, the children requested that their parents have a retreat as well. And there were three Muslim girls that came. So beautiful. And then last night, it was a second retreat, and it was with a big group of boys who meet to pray. And there were three Hindu boys who were very interested in the book and the Catholic faith, and there were two of the boys are also planning to enter the seminary. So a lot of concrete fruit. There's Right there, six Hindu and Muslim young people, young adults, looking to become Catholic because of this book and then what they're doing through it. So please know if you're one of those who have supported us in prayer and financially, uh, it's concretely bearing fruit in the Middle East. We also pray for our work in Africa, the New Cameroon Project, for Nigeria. We pray for Uganda and Ethiopia and the Sudan and Tanzania and Malawi and Ghana. We pray for our Central and South American projects in both Spanish and soon to be Portuguese. We pray for um, the work in Mexico and Colombia and Brazil and Belize and Guatemala and Honduras and Ecuador and Peru. We pray for our work in India to expand. We pray for our work throughout Europe in the French translation of the holiness of womanhood that will be used in Africa, but I'm sure also in France. We pray for the work here in the United States. There's another project I have coming up for the Cloistered Sisters that we'll need funding for. They're so grateful for this deep spiritual food. And I ask the Lord for, as I'm preparing the financial report of the Fiat Foundation and our goals, just that the Lord raise up loads and loads of generous donors. So we truly can change the face of the earth. We pray for all of our children of the cross prayer groups and that they expand here in the United States. We also pray for priests, for my book, In Our Lady's Shadow, the spirituality of praying for priests and that prayer groups for priests, not only among children as children of the cross, but among adults may be formed. 
We pray for our families, especially on Monday. We pray individually for all 100 members of my immediate family, for our extended family, for a family that has died. My little brother Johnny came to me in a dream last night. He was just radiant. I don't even remember much more than that. He was more real than anyone else in the dream because he's in heaven, right? And he was shiny. His black skin was shiny. And um, I'm so grateful for his intercession. And we pray for his soul because we always pray for the souls of those who've died, even if people think they're really holy. We always pray for them because you never know what they might need. And if they don't need that prayer, then somebody else who does need it will get it. We also pray for Frank, who died last week, who is in need of prayer. We pray for healing in broken families, for those longing to get married, to find a spouse, those longing to conceive, to adopt. We pray for children who are abused and neglected and abandoned and broken, those who are spiritually neglected, especially children who are exposed to sin, the impurity and the immodesty of the world selfishness, um, vanity, greed. We pray that the Lord may put holy people in their lives so that they see the contrast and that they learn. Children only learn um, to be holy by, by encountering it. And we pray for those ex, you know, exposed to grave evil. We pray for an increase of purity and humility in the world in general. We pray for those who are ill. We pray for um, Levi and Charlie and Liam and Colton and Aubrey and Colette, Cecilia, Calvin. We pray for Jonathan. We pray for John, for um, George, for Gary, for baby Norva. We pray for all of those who you have at, written on these pages and that you've contacted me about. We pray for my mom. We pray for all of those who have fallen away from the church, who are um, stout in a life of sin, who are committed to rejecting what Christ asks us to live, that they be converted. We pray for um, the lukewarm. We pray for a protection of human life from conception to natural death. We pray for politicians and judges and lawyers and doctors and scientists and professors to be raised up who are holy, who teach holiness. We pray for our schools. We pray for parents who can't afford to send their kids to the best schools, that the Lord may provide them with um, moral options that really help their families. We pray for those looking for jobs, especially young people those who just graduated. We pray for all those in financial duress, those who've been open to life and are struggling to provide. We pray for those who are discerning schools. We pray for those who are struggling in school, especially for young people who, you know, they get heartbroken and they, there's a lot of gossip sometimes or just different problems in schools. So we ask the Lord to be with our young people them from the evil in the world and to convert those who cause the problems. We pray for those who are longing for God's will and are just clinging to the wrong thing. Let me just write this here because Facebook erased it. Okay, so we shall pray. And we're going to pray for you and your intentions and for me and all of the many intentions, especially those I wrote down for Lent that we'll offer these rosaries for and for peace, for peace in the world, for peace in our families. We pray for Tim. We pray for a family member with a tumor. We pray for Landon. We pray for Jeff and Eddie, Crystal, Joe, Cody, Gage, Jeffrey, Jeff, Joseph, and Taylor. We pray for Vanny. And we pray for all of those who I don't see your messages. I don't always get to see them while we're live. But we include your intentions and the Lord honors that, right? He honors it. 
and we pray for vocations. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name. For all the desires of your sacred heart in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart, for our hearts, and for our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you and to show my devotion to you. I consecrate to you this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. We pray for their intentions, their physical and spiritual protection, for their conversion, for humility and integrity, for wisdom and knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage and fortitude, justice, mercy, generosity, and love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And today is Monday, and so we're going to pray the... Um, the joyful mysteries, even though it's Lent, but we're going to pray them um, in light of the cross and the passion and the death of Christ. So the first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. And in this mystery, the angel Gabriel came to Our Lady and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, right? Well, I guess Elizabeth said that, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But Hail Mary, full of grace. Our Lady was full of the Holy Spirit. And yet, um, when the Holy Spirit came upon her, after her fiat, her surrender to the will of God, right? Um, he came upon her in an even new way to form Jesus within her. We can be um, instruments of the Holy Spirit, full of the Holy Spirit, not like Our Lady, because she was immaculate, but we can be full of the Holy Spirit and yet have that fullness grow. God can still do new things. He can enter us more fully. Each time we receive the sacraments, the Eucharist, if we continue to add our yes upon yes upon yes to what the Lord asks of us in life, with every question he has, our hearts are expanded. And 
often those questions have to do with suffering. St. Gabriel said to Our Lady that, you know, you will conceive and bear a son and his name will be um, Jesus. You know, he will be son of the Most High. He will be the Savior of the world. What does it mean to save the world? The Savior of the world was to suffer, like we read about in Isaiah, right? The suffering servant, the suffering Savior. And to be the mother of the Redeemer means that you'll suffer with him. Our Lady's fiat in the Annunciation was a fiat not only to the joy of motherhood, the joy of a Savior coming, but also to suffer with him as his mother and his helpmate unto and through the cross. And she said, yes, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to your word. And her fiat not only opened her heart to the Holy Spirit in a new way, but it was the Holy Spirit praying that fiat within her. In this mystery, we want to pray that no matter what the Lord is asking of us, that we say yes. We allow the Holy Spirit to help us pray yes to the Father. Knowing that our yes to God is going to bring suffering with joy. And yet, like Christ said, my yoke of the cross is easy and my burden is light when we bear it with him. So we pray for all of these things. Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who is equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. The Annunciation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of a powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery is a visitation, and in this mystery, Our Lady carries baby Jesus in her womb to Elizabeth. It was an arduous journey. It was not easy to go from Nazareth to Enkerim, which is where Elizabeth and Zechariah lived. And it was hilly. And um, she didn't know what would happen because she was pregnant, but like she didn't tell people. It was a great act of trust in God to go forward to believe that Elizabeth was pregnant. They didn't have telephones where she could like call and confirm the news, right? To go forward and then to trust that when she was there that the Holy Spirit would explain everything to her relatives. And he did. He did probably earlier than Mary anticipated. And the Christ child that Mary brought to Elizabeth was Jesus crucified. I think about um, this book is tattered, so it's the, the sides are worn. But this is the prayer book that we use during this rosary. It's my prayer book, Mornings with Mary. But on the front is an icon of Jesus crucified. But Our Lady's pregnant with him. You see how he's crucified? I almost pulled out an icon for today of Jesus, of Mary pregnant with Jesus crucified. But as her title, Star of the Sea. It was the Holy Spirit, because look, he drew my attention here. Our Lady carried baby Jesus. He was already crucified within her. He was the infant crucified Christ. Can you imagine being a tabernacle of Jesus crucified? Everyone would want to be a tabernacle of the divine presence of Jesus, right? That radiates peace and love. Do you know the cost? to Mary to do that. Just symbolically in this icon, Jesus has nails in his hands and his feet. He's wearing a crown of thorns. Those nails would have pressed up against Our Lady's wounds and, and, and ripped out her own wounds, hidden within her womb. That crown of thorns, it's, it's symbolic. And yet, to carry the crucified infant Christ means to be crucified. That word compassion, compassion, to suffer with. When you love someone, you suffer for them. You suffer with them. To the degree you love is the degree you suffer. And the holier your love is, is the more selfless it is. It's the kind of love God wants husbands and wives to have for each other, parents to have for their children. A love that is willing to be completely selfless and to suffer with and for the other person. Why do marriages break? Why do children become estranged from their parents? It's because um, people are selfish in today's world. They don't understand that to love means to suffer. In um, Croatia, they have a tradition that marriage vows are prayed over a crucifix. And then that crucifix is put over their bed, their marital bed. Because marriage isn't easy. You have to be selfless and loving for a marriage to last and be strong. Um, Fulton Sheen, Bishop Fulton Sheen, used to say that, um, that marriage, you have to have three rings for a wedding, right? The man has a wedding ring for his wife. The woman has one for the, um, her husband. And then you have suffering. <laughs> 
But then you look at like parents with their children. Why do children suffer so much in the world? Because their parents are selfish. They indulge in their own whatever it is, their own lust, their own greed, their own materialism, their own entertainment on their phones, whatever it is, their own comfort and sleep and not waking up to take care of their children. So in this mystery, we're going to pray that we may carry that infant crucified Christ within the womb of our heart, that we have the courage like Our Lady, that the Holy Spirit uses the wounds that we receive from being pressed up so closely with baby Jesus as instruments of healing and love and grace for our own lives and for the world. And we pray for a conversion of those who don't know love, who are selfish. Holy Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of peace and humility and meekness, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit of modesty, chastity, purity, and innocence, have mercy on us. The Visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspodsta Boy. Blagoslavien natinez de jonami i blagoslavien plotshereva tvaevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas grishni. Nini vcha smirti nashi amen, Polish. Strovash Maria, waski pauna pan stabo. Bogoslavio nashtin jenzen evastani. I bogoslavioni ovot shevota tvaego jesus. Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, mudal shezanami kshishnemi. Terra si fgojina i smirgina si aman spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Atale. Ave Maria. Piena de gracia al Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccadori, adesso en la hora de la nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus teco. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagadati polnaya, gaspod staboi, blagoslavien natin jež de jonami, i blagoslavien plotšereva, tvajevo isus, svetaja Maria, mater boža, malisa nas grešni, nini vča smirti naši, amen. Polnaš. Strovaš Maria, vaski pauna, pan staboi, Bogoslavionis ti mens in evastami, i bogoslavioni, ovot shevota tvaego Jesus. Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, mudal shezanami kshishnemi, terasif gojina i shmirti nashi amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. 
Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, Sicura in principio et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth, third joyful mystery is the birth of baby Jesus in Bethlehem. And like I said, baby Jesus was born into suffering and he suffered from the very moments of his conception because he was fully our savior from those first moments. And it's easy to meditate on the sufferings of Bethlehem. He was born without a home, rejected from the inns, cold at night, in a stable, in a cave with animals. Herod tried to kill him. And yet, no matter the rejection and the poverty that he suffered from the very beginning, baby Jesus had that love of his mother, Mary, and his foster father, Joseph. God the Father sent the angels to sing hems of Gloria and Alleluia to light up the sky with a star to send the poor shepherds wise men with gold and frankincense and myrrh. Myrrh foreshadows death. Baby Jesus is born and yet he's first given the gift of, of death, right? Of like something to, to be used for his death. But he was born as a savior through and through. But the Holy Spirit was present, proclaiming his kingship, his priesthood, as the victim and his death. And those gifts could be used once he fled into Egypt to provide for their feeding. So there's a lot to meditate on. One, that as we imitate Christ, we will imitate his poverty. We will be poor, we will be rejected, we will be misunderstood. And some will be sought after to be killed. Look at our persecuted brothers and sisters in the Middle East and North Africa, in China, in Russia. And yet God will provide those who are persecuted, those who feel the thorns of the cross, with comfort. We always have the Blessed Mother with us. We always have Joseph. We always have Jesus. We have the saints. We have the angels. And he'll send people some people to provide for us along the way. And his glory will be manifest in our wounds, the same way his glory was manifest in Christ's wounds. You know, that prickliness of the hay he was laying, laid in the manger foreshadowed those thorns and the nails that would pierce him later on. Our bread from heaven is laid in a manger where animals eat from. And it foreshadowed how often the Eucharistic sacrifice of the body and blood, soul, and divinity of Christ would be not respected and loved by souls who received him in disdain or apathy or sin. In this mystery, we pray that we may receive Christ worthily. We pray that the Holy Spirit may be present to comfort us in the midst of sorrows as we walk our way with the Savior of the world. We pray for children who suffer, who are born into poverty, who are neglected by their parents, abused. 
endangered, those endangered by abortion, those whose souls are endangered by the sin around them. And we pray for all of the different needs of our lives as Christians, and we trust that just like the Holy Spirit inspired the wise men to bring gifts that Mary and Joseph could use, right? That he'll send us people to help us along our way, right? So that we can go forth and do his will. Holy Spirit, the comforter of mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the sanctifier of mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the church of mercy on us. Gift of God, the most high of mercy on us. Spirit who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. Our Father, the birth of baby Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation in the temple, and it's not hard for us to see the passion of Christ in this mystery. What did Sin, Sin, um, Simeon, the priest in the temple, say to our lady? This child will be for the rise and the fall of many, a sign to be contradicted. He's a baby. 
And yet, he's predicting already that he will be contradicted. And he said to our lady, you yourself a sword shall pierce, so the thoughts of many hearts would be revealed. So often when we suffer from people, either directly offending us or because when you're around them, they're sinning and it hurts us to see people sin, right? If you take that suffering and you unite it to Christ and you offer it up like Our Lady, her heart pierced with Jesus. Grace can be one to convert them. When Jesus says, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. Bless those who persecute you. Pray for those who are against you. He doesn't just mean saying like, okay, fine, I forgive them. Or fine, okay, Lord, please help them. He wants you to love them and to take that suffering they cause you, to feel it and to offer it for them. Very often you will find yourself loving your enemies more than, because they've hurt you, than random people who don't hurt you, if you're loving like Christ. It takes more love of the heart of Christ to pour out mercy on a great sinner than on someone who's just. They don't need that, live, that forgiving mercy. Jesus said, I came not for the righteous, but for sinners. St. Therese of Lisieux was so sad about that because she didn't have a lot of mortal sins. But Jesus showed her through her father was actually teaching her that sometimes his mercy saves us from sin. Without that mercy and that grace, we would be doing the same things as these other people that we see. His love and mercy preserves us. In this mystery, let's pray that we can have that love that Our Lady has of the sword piercing our hearts. And we'll offer it for those who offend us, who have offended us. Maybe it's people who have gossiped about you or lied. Maybe it's people who've abandoned you or twisted your intention, who've cheated or stolen, who've just been plain mean. Maybe it's people who've rejected you. Maybe it's people who have actually come against you in a physical way and hurt you. We pray for them. And we ask the Lord to forgive them. We pray that we can have as great of a love for sinners as Jesus has, as Mary has. Holy Spirit, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasure of thy grace. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspotsta Boy, Blagaslavienna Timjez de Jonemi, E Blagaslavian Plotchereva Tvayevo Isers, Svetaya Maria, Matir Boja Malisa Naskreshni, Nini ivcha smirti nashi amen, Polish. Strovash Maria, waski pauna pan stabo. Bogoswavionash timians and evastami, i bogoswavioni ova shivota tvayego jesus. Shventa Maria, matka boja, murulsha zanami kshashnimi, terra sivgojina i smirti nashi amen, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, 
ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesu. Santa María, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nostra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus teca. Benedicta tu en mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Santa María, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Russia. Radusia María, blagada ti polnea, gaspot stablea, blagaslavia natimia ishtajonami i blagaslavia plachereva tvaevo isus. Svetaya María, Mater Boja Malisa nas greshi, nini vchas mirti nashi amen, polesh. Strovas Maria, waski pauna pan stabon, bogaswavionas timians and evasami, i bogaswavioni, ova shavota tvaego Jesus. Shventa Maria, matka boja, mural shizanami kshishnebi, terasif gojina ishmirchi nashi amen, polish, sorry, Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, yenare de gracia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el fruto de vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y con te. Tu se benedita fra la donne y benedicto el fruto del tuyo, Señor Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu en mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tu Jesus. Santa María, Mater de, ora pro nobis pecatoribus, nunca en hora mortis nostri. Amén. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritu Sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding in the temple. In this mystery, we remember how Joseph and Mary lost Jesus before they found him. And in the searching that they had to do, their hearts were expanded so that they could receive a new and greater grace when they found him. In this mystery, we pray for all of those who feel like they've lost Jesus, whether it be mystics who are going through the dark night of the soul, right? People who love Christ, who just can't, can't get that umph back, right? in their prayer life, their personal life. Those who have lost him because they've entered such a suffering that they can't find him. Maybe it's cancer or another life-threatening disease. Maybe it's a death of a loved one. We pray for those who lost Jesus because they've chosen sin. And they're so deep in their sin, they can't find their way out. We pray for atheists who've lost Jesus because they've chosen to not believe in him. We pray for those who've lost Jesus because of mental illness and despair, those who have spiritual illness like oppression or, or possession. We pray for those who lost Jesus because they're in an environment, whether it be a communist country or a worldly college, that the environment around them has no Jesus, and so they've just lost him. 
We pray for all of those who've lost their Jesus to find them this Lent. Those who've fallen away from the Catholic faith. The finding in the temple. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with the heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merit of all virtue. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave. Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal life. 
Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain all they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all of my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, our families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O princes of a heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this night be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. We pray for those who have died. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home, and within our own family. Amen. We pray St. Patrick's Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles, in the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins, and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me. God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me. From the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. 
I summoned today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague, against drowning and wounding, sickness and colony, against disobedience, disrespect, profanity, and majesty, unchastity, impurity, selfishness and greed, misunderstanding and confusion, fear and worry, unrepentance and unforgiveness, addictions, forgetfulness, despair, discouragement, jealousy and competition, gossip, laziness, blocking, division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness, and pride, anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, and against every other evil that could come against me or those for whom I'm praying, so that there may come to us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And on Mondays, we pray to the Holy Spirit, the consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought. Grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus, looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood, adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, promised to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation the spirit of knowledge that I may know God, myself, and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence toward God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. And we pray St. Augustine's prayer to the Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may be holy. Move in me, Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Attract my heart, Holy Spirit, that I may love what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, that I may defend what is holy. 
Protect me, Holy Spirit, that I may always be holy. St. Alphonsus Liguori's Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, divine consoler, I adore you as my true God. With God the Father and God the Son, I adore you and unite myself to the adoration you receive from angels and saints. I give you my heart. I offer my ardent thanksgiving for all of the grace which you never cease to bestow on me. O giver of all supernatural gifts, who filled the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with such immense favors, I beg you to visit me with your grace and love and grant me the gift of holy fear, so it may act on me as a check to prevent me from falling back into my past sins, for which I beg pardon. Grant me the gift of piety so I may serve you for the future with increased fervor. Follow with more promptness your holy inspirations and observe your divine precepts with greater fidelity. Grant me the gift of knowledge so I may know the things of God and enlightened by your holy teaching may walk without deviation in the path of eternal salvation. Grant me the gift of fortitude so I may overcome courageously all the assaults of the devil and all the dangers of this world which threaten the salvation of my soul. Grant me the gift of counsel so I may choose what is more conductive to my spiritual advancement and may discover the wiles and snares of the tempter. Grant me the gift of understanding so I may apprehend the divine mysteries and by contemplation of heavenly things detach my thoughts and affections from the vain things of this miserable world. Grant me the gift of wisdom so I may rightly direct all of my actions, referring them to God as my last end so that having loved him and served him in this life, I may have the happiness of possessing him eternally in the next. Amen. A prayer to the Holy Spirit, my Cardinal Mercier. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, and console me. Tell me what I should do and give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will and prayer for the help of the Holy Spirit by St. Anthony of Padua. O God, send forth your Holy Spirit into my heart that I may perceive, into my mind that I may remember, into my soul that I may meditate. Inspire me to speak with piety, holiness, tenderness, and mercy. Teach, guide, and direct my thoughts and senses from the beginning to the end. May your grace ever help and correct me, and may I be strengthened now with wisdom from on high for the sake of your infinite mercy. Amen. Jesus, meek of humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of our lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Anne Lynn, pray for us, especially in our ministry for priests. And St. Gabriel Passati, Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows. We have his relic, relic here. Pray for us and for all of the youth who we work with. All of you holy angels and martyrs and saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Oops, we can't say hallelujah. <laughs> Happy Lent. I will see you tomorrow.